Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to look at how to do the lookup function. Um, it's kind of similar to the we lookup in Excel and what you're essentially going to do is you're going to look into one table uh, for a value from another table. Now how do you do that? So let's have an example here. Now I have customer IDs and I have order quantities and I want to find out what was the maximum order quantity per customer. So first, let's create a table that's going to give us that. So I have my fact tables here where I have customer IDs and I have so I have customer IDs and I have order quantities, right? So but for each customer ID, I want to know what is my maximum order quantity. So I'm going to load a table called max order quantity and now I'm going to give a load statement load customer ID and then load the order quantities but I want the max of the order quantity so I'm going to give a max here now this wouldn't work under regular circumstance but it will work now because I you need to give a group by statement and only then an aggregation will work in a table so uh, now this is a resident because I'm loading it from a table that's already loaded and that table is sales so I'm going to say load customer ID and order quantity from the table called sales and group by my dimension here that is the customer ID so every dimension that is not wherever you haven't aggregated everything else has to be called in your group ID group by statement so when you're gr using group by make sure that those fields that are not aggregated has to be called here. So I'm saying now group by customer ID. So now I'm grouping all orders per customer ID and then looking at the maximum of the order quantity and saying this customer ID has this max order quantity. It's going to give this a name. Done. So now I'm going to have a table here which has maximum order quantity per customer. But how do I call that? Well, now in my next load, always make sure that the table that you're calling for the lookup has to be loaded before. So in the next load, what you're going to do is here, I'm saying my final sales table load and I want to load all my fields. So I'm just going to give a star and this is from resident final done. Right. So now essentially what I want to tell here in this table is I want to look it up. So here I can say look up because I want to look up for my different customers. So here I'm going to have my customer ID and order quantities. So, so here I want to bring in my maximum order quantity per customer that's in this particular table. So how do we do that? Well, I can look, I can write look up. So it says here, look up, looks into a table that is already loaded. So our table here is already loaded with the max order quantity and returns the value of the field name corresponding to the first occurrence of the value match field value in the field match field name. All right, all right, take it easy. Not so complicated as click likes to write it. So let's say look up. What do I want to look up? Well, I want to look up the max order quantity, right? So I have to put it under apostrophes. So look up the max order quantity in for which field? Well, that is my customer ID, right? So the apostrophes are also, I put the apostrophe and I say, look up the maximum order quantity in the field customer ID for which of my field well in this table for every customer id so i just you don't need to put a apostrophe because you're referring to your own field here so i'm saying hey look up max order quantity here the max order quantity and which corresponds to customer id for my field called customer id from which table? Well, look it up in the table called max order quantity. And that one also has to be in apostrophes. And name it as my max order quantity. 
done. So that's how you do it. So essentially in this new table, what I'm saying is, hey, I want to know the max order quantity. So look it up for my field called customer ID. Look up the max order quantity in the field called customer ID from the table called max order quantity. So I'm just going to make a small change here to make it simpler max order quantity table. So I'm going to take these two away before loading because I have a star here, which means customer ID and order quantity is already included. So you can't have two fields with the same names. So I'm just going to take this away and then you load it. That's how you can do a lookup and find your values from a different table. And then make sure that you drop the table that you're loading because otherwise you will have synthetic keys. So that was a tutorial on VLOOKUP. I hope it was helpful and sign up for the upcoming course on ClickSense. I'm sure you'll really appreciate it. And um, the first early birds will get a nice little discount. So um, I really, really hope that this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.